And of course, the big moment is just hours away. Countdown begins for the landing of the Chandrayaan 3 and a billion prayers that it will be a soft landing. As the Chandrayaan inches closer to the moon, uh, this will be, remember, the Chandrayaan 2 orbiter that decided to welcome Chandrayaan 2 orbiter, I rated it, welcoming the Vikram lander of Chandrayaan 3, saying, welcome, buddy, to the lander. And ISRO has been keeping us updated on social media as well. It was a two-way communication between the orbiter and the lander that has been established. On Monday, ISRO chairperson briefed the Union Minister Jitendra Singh on the health status of Chandrayaan 3, telling him all the systems that are perfectly working perfectly and no contingency are anticipated yet. As per the Indian Space Agency, the lander module carrying Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover is expected to touch down on the lunar surface around 6 p.m. on Wednesday. So while there's a, a little bit over a day to go, I can tell you the excitement clearly high because if India makes it, it will only be the fourth nation and it's going to be... Remember, ISRO and India have been underdogs for space missions. So this could be a big, big achievement. I want to start by asking you about the lunar mission uh, of uh, the Russians which crashed uh, uh, very unfortunately over the weekend without being able to land successfully. You know, given what has happened with the Luna 25, which was Russia's first attempt to land a spacecraft off the moon and that ending in failure, you know, would that increase the levels of anxiety of the team in the space center of ISRO at this moment? Does that make you one extra level more anxious? No, it is not so. First of all, uh, Luna uh, mission failure and uh, this one, they are not related. Luna, actually, that is have its own system, its own uh, the sensor, thrusters, and it may have its own characteristics. But uh, we have our own system, our own thruster, our own sensors, which it, it has been functioning very nicely and without any problem and uh, till now we are uh, achieved what we want in a perfect way and I'm sure that this will repeat on 23rd also so we'll get a good uh, uh, landing and uh, we are not getting uh, uh, disturbed by the Luna 25 failure we are, they are not related they are not a similar system they are different system Okay. So we are confident that we are uh, will be able to achieve without any problem. The world is waiting with bated breath for India's ambitious Chandrayaan 3 mission to the moon and we are expecting the Vikram lander to make a soft landing on the moon. The date has been set but what are the expectations, what are the challenges and how significant is the contribution of uh, Gujarat? I'm in ISRO Ahmedabad and I'm speaking to the director, uh, Mr. Nilesh Desai, sir. Sir, how big is Gujarat's contribution to this massive mission that the entire country currently is proud of? So, as you may be well aware that Chandrayaan 3 mission has been conceived after the failure in soft landing during Chandrayaan-2 mission which was done in 2019. So after the failure in soft landing, of course the orbiter mission of the Chandrayaan-2 was very successful as all of you would have already read in newspaper or heard about it that uh, Chandrayaan-2 orbiter which was designed to last for around one to one and a half years due to the availability of fuel sufficient fuel, it is now going to last up to minimum seven years. That And already it has completed four years in orbit. Right. So it has been a hugely successful mission as far as orbiter is concerned. Mm -hmm. But as all of you are well aware of, and we saw it in 2019, when we were trying to soft land on the moon surface with our lander, mm -hmm. due to anomaly which was developed, I will call it a last mile problem which is when we were two kilometers away, almost two kilometers away from the moon's surface, due to the tilting of the lander, and there was a, anom a software anomaly, due to which instead of uh, soft landing, we ended up in having a crash landing or hard landing. Yes. So after the failure of Chandrayaan-2 landing, 
ISRO and India decided that we should again try for soft landing with our Chandrayaan-3 mission. So that's how Chandrayaan-3 mission was conceived. It is almost similar to what we uh, designed or developed for Chandrayaan-2, except for instead of orbiter now, because orbiter is anyway working fine, right. and it is still useful, and it is giving a lot of in important data, which will be utilized for Chandrayaan-3 landing also. Right. So we decided that uh, we, we orbiter will be replaced by a propulsion module. Uh, which, which duty is to take it to the orbit of moon surface. Right. So that work is almost completed. All of you are well aware that we launched Chandrayaan-3 mission on 14th July 2023. That is almost four years after we launched Chandrayaan-2. भारत का तीसरा चंद्रयान चंद्रयान 3 अब चंद्र की पाक के करीब पहुंच गया है और कुछ ही समय में वो सतह पे उतरेगा तो सबके लिए बहुत बड़ा दिन है ये हमारा तीसरा मिशन है पहले मिशन में हमने छोटा सा एक डिवाइस चंद्र पे डाला था दूसरे मिशन में हमने एक बगी चलाने की कोशिश करी थी मगर कुछ अंतिम समय में कुछ गलती की वजह से वो बगी पहुंच नहीं पाई अब तीसरी बार जब हम जा रहे हैं तो हम बगी को ठीक से पहुंचाएंगे और इस बार इसरो का यही फोकस है कि वो एक बगी चंद्र के दक्षिण ध्रुव की तरफ उतारे और उसको घुमा के वहां की सतह को ठीक से देखें